Hello, Princess Casserole here with part number two of my jewelry bag unpacking. Um, I do have some updates and I am not coughing to death anymore either, which is also nice. Um, this pin that was the kitty pin says Dominico on it. D-O-M-E-N-I-C-O -E stir. And it is really not tarnished at all. With just um, polishing on my shirt shined up very nicely. Um, these A's, the one's a little bit skewed. Actually, it kind of looks like they both are like that. No, just this one. Um, but they, they do have a signature, they're Hickok. So, um, that one has an update, and I did, um, put these in hot water and semi-chrome and everything like that, and no scent, um, no color change on it at all. So, and these have no seams or anything like that, so I am guessing that these are lucite bangles, which is also good with me so either way I would have been happy with those I think they're they're really awesome so I was I was happy about that either way all right so I thought there weren't like a ton of necklaces in this one so hopefully it wouldn't be like a lot of an untangling but it's always a little bit of untangling when you get at the end here and also always with some earrings that want to join the party. Uh, speaking of earrings to join the party, no signature or anything. Single earring. Um, friendship bracelet. I want to go in the keeping to donate pile. I have no idea what this is it's an earring or what no idea oh, this one's almost almost there oh it is like a question of stamina here who has the most So there is a screw back earring there. And we have something else almost untangled over here. That looks like the bottom love. That's a clip. Yeah, how you put them on the western shirts. That's something. Alright, I got one untangled, but hold, hold please. I'm just checking to see. I don't see any marks or anything. There is uh, a pearl necklace. The clasp doesn't say anything about sterling silver. Or anything. I know people say that you can tell when you... your teeth on it but I can't I'm gonna guess that these are not real but they are they're quite pretty though there's really no no way or anything so I'll put those to the side um, I have like two earrings that are or a couple necklaces that are all tangled in 
together here. So there is this one that looked like it used to have two strands. Oh, this probably went here. I just totally broke it. And it was, um, doesn't really look like a rosary to me. Um, but these are like the potato pearls. So I am going to put that aside to harvest the pearls from so that I can use it in another craft. There's just this really weird thing that is collecting everything in its wake. Okay, finally got another one untangled. So this one, let's see if it's got any marks, maker's marks or quality marks or anything. Doesn't look like it, no. So there are no marks on this one. Um, has little little beads on it. That's not bad. Oh, almost got it. I have a cross over here. If I can get it untangled. Um, oop, sorry. Cross. Um, there's no markings or anything on that either. Uh, actually. I think there actually is. You, you can almost see it. I think it says sterling, but... Says Sterling. So I'll have to continue untangling that one. It is quite tarnished then for Sterling. Uh, one more here. Things like this, I'll show you in a second, they're always the worst because things get so stuck to them. I'm actually kind of surprised there weren't more things stuck to this. I, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> it's this. No idea what that is. And those are cheap beads. So, a lot of aggravation for... A little amount of payoff. Should aggravate someone else and throw it in another bag. So this one has no markings on the chain, uh, but it has this that says KS Pewter. And it is really heavy. Doesn't look like a locket or anything. It's just a pendant. Hair jewelry. So we have a Brett Hong Kong, it says. Um, and then that's what a watch or a bracelet sat on. I don't know why I threw that in my donate pile instead of the garbage. Haha, -ha, I made it. And then we have a stretchy bracelet. 
Oh, that is long. So this looks like it's broken, but um, let's see. As they open, yeah, this one looks like it opens. Though, this is interesting the way that it's, I'm sorry I keep saying that. That does look like where it should stop. It might just be an extender or the way that the chain is, I'm not sure. Uh, but this is, it still has the tag on it, it's Sarah Coventry. It's in really nice shape. So that'll be nice for some of the big pendants that I have. Uh, Department of Education Blue Ribbon. Penn East High School. That's where my daughter actually goes to school, Penn East. Someone didn't want their watch. Um, Dewsville. But the thing's coming off on this one. And fashion earrings made in Korea. There's another thing from Hillcraft. I don't know. I don't know what else that would have went on. Oh, and look, there's the other one. Those <laughs> would be some huge earrings. And this one looks like it broke off. Made in the USA, it's marked. These are huge. Some earrings that lost its magnet. Actually, well, yeah, it lost its poor magnet. This actually isn't in terrible shape. It's actually kind of surprising for it being all those tassels just sitting in a bag. <laughs> that is adorbs. Sorry, I keep putting my hand in the way. I did not go to school for film, obviously. There is only one stone missing. Um, he should not be hard to replace. So, that is really adorable. So I'm going to put that aside because I should even have the stones to fix that uh, button. There was a single earring that flew out at me. Um, <laughs> a bra strap. I got a bra strap in here. That's the first. <laughs> oh, this one says handmade. And it's like the earring to that. This is gold filled on silver. I really hope that the other one's in there. My luck, it's not going to be. Um, the icing. That is a huge earring. Um, just plain pearls. This one, the clasp broke off. But we'll put that to the side because those are in pretty good shape. There's a quartz heart watch pendant. Earring. No marking, but that's. So this is something that would be really nice to do some of the jewelry art with. A plastic.
plastic necklace. I have a huge collection over there, if you can hear it. Oh, a doorstop. That is also a first. Oh, stretchy. If there wasn't so many nice things in here. Oh, I think I got a pair of those too. And I don't I don't see anything on this these ones. So cuffs. Nice. <laughs> this bracelet, some of them are missing. You know, these look like nice little tiger's eyes though. I think I am going to take that one apart too. This is an old looking JJ pen that is really nice. I like that one. Enamel work on that is still really nice. And there is a bunny with a flower. World trend. And there is this really long, very heavy bracelet. I can't figure out where that opens. I suppose maybe it doesn't. Not, not a huge fan of that one. Little snowman. Put that to craft with. There's nothing on the back of him. Oh, that must go with that pen. Uh, same thing. It does have a signature on it. Silver Forest, handcrafted in Vermont. That is a brooch. Clip on. Uh, just a little gold hoop. There is an earring. See any marks or anything on it? Hmm. There's a tag on this one. I don't know what that says. Just a second, please. There is another one. That is tangled. I think the other one is broken. This one. This is 14 karat GE gold electroplated. And then this one has a tag on it. I don't know what the symbol is. This one needs a little bath. Oh, there is one missing in there. But it's actually not bad. It's just kind of dirty. So we'll put this one off to the side. I should have brought up a garbage bag with me. I don't know what I was thinking. World University Games. This one's a fishies. Mm, but it's signed Japan. That's kind of cute, actually. I like that. It's a little quirky. Oh, 
and there's the other leaf. So that one is nice. This is a stick pen, doesn't have the bottom. A little wear, no, no, um, anything on there. And there's another stick pen. Um, that one has something written on it. Let's see. Actually, it just looks like it's twirled around. It's just twisted. There's nothing written on there. Um, my hair jewelry. Let's see, what else do we have here? There was a crown. And that one only looks to be missing one jewel. Um, there's an earring. Ugh. That one's kind of gross. It's going in the garbage. An apple. Um, oh, it looks like there was an earring to go with that one brooch. And the other pair of clips is in there. So it looks like I have a pair of these moosey ones. So, nice. Let's see. What's those earrings? Earring. Wishful thinking on the pluralness. Now these are heavy. But there's the lobster clasp. Uh, no name or anything on it. But um, that's nice. This one just says Korea. And it's got the black and gold twisted. And then this necklace. We've got one, one more over here, but just a moment. Can't always tell if there's something written or it's just really dirty. This one is just scratchy and dirty. So this broken one there. I have a, a little bag of broken jewelry. Uh, what is this? <laughs> there is no designer name on this or anything. That is huge. And the chain is dirty. But, oh, and it just broke. No wonder, because it's so huge. But actually, I can fix that. If I want to. I can fix that. This was the, one of the other things that I saw in here. Looks like there was something, like a price tag or something in the back. 
I don't see a name or anything on it. But I thought that was kind of different. I've never really seen anything like that. Oh, that one's a match. This one's broken. Put it to the side. This will be useful. This one's safety chain is missing. But it's still got the thing, so that's not terrible. I think the safety chain helps make it look nice. So that's actually kind of nice. Uh, I don't see any name or anything on it or on the back or on either side. So I'll just put a little chain on that one. Oh, nice. Doesn't look like we'll be making Christmas trees out of these. Those are nice. Oh, that's a lovely brooch. And that is Trifari. Lovely Trifari brooch. Little teeny tiny ring. Let's see. Nothing inside, which is not really surprising. Doesn't even have a diamond in it. My phone does not want to focus. Christmas tree brooch. Uh. <laughs> I, that is magnetic. And it is leaving the stuff all over that. Wow, that's weird. So this is a um, cuff link. That's a cute little button. I bet this is a snowman in here. Yeah. Little snowman. see how does this open this is a perfect um, I cannot for the life of me figure out how to open this oh it's like the sister clasp I don't see any markings on here Which is okay, because I, I wanted, uh, it's always nice to have extra charm bracelets. Let's see, that one is kind of dirty. Stretchy bracelet. An earring. Oh, here's the rest of that. Bracelet. I have to go find the other part. I don't know that it is salvageable, but oh, <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, I don't see a name on this, but it's one of those brooches that has the earrings too. Oh, how cute! That is nice. What a perfect bag for me. This is one of those juicy one. Or I thought it would be juicy, but you know what? I don't know. That, I don't think it is. It does look, look older than Juicy Couture. Hmm. I just see the <laughs> the pink and the crown and 
automatically think that because I get a lot of that kind of stuff in here. That is cute. Just a little bit of wear there, but nice little Christmas stocking. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Oh, I can. I hope we can find his eyeballs somewhere. This is really creepy. And I love it. And just a simple clip on the earring. Oh, fingers crossed that some of these jewels are in the bottom here. Yang yang. Got that with my 90s pile over there. Pioneering. Uh, stretchy bracelet. Uh. Earring. Uh, let's see. Charmante. Clip on earrings. Those actually are not bad. This is an interesting pin. So it's a leaf and it's like a short pin. Now we found the other Santa. I can take him off to craft with though too. There's a little buffalo pin. Um, I live in Buffalo, New York. So those are always nice to get. Another um, button. Oh, I think this went with that one ring. So it's like the ceramic. And so it would go on like that. So I'll fix that. No problemo. Uh, this will be interesting to craft with. <laughs> Just like a little... Oh, uh, hey, I have ideas for that. A little fox mask. Um, with a butterfly pen. It's an interesting style, though. Sorry, interesting. Straight to. I'm sure I'm on more than that, but that's all I have caught for myself. Um, it looks like this. It's a clip on or um, screw back earring and says throwing the ball, the ball, B U L L by Alice. I have never heard of anything like that. I really hope that other one is in here in the other bag I got. Kind of sad now. Um, this looks like it's a, it's just a little hat. I don't know what that signature is. Um, I think it's Beatrin or something like that. I, I don't know. Um, just a little earring. Cute little bunny holding an Easter egg button, like that other button. Poured pride. I am sure there are both people for and against that one. Um this charm I don't I don't see a signature on this it's just all the the texture another yin yang Uh, 
on another 90s type bracelet or necklace. It's another vintage button. Well, that's a blast from the past. Blizzard. It's a soccer team we used to have in here in Buffalo. This is a buffalo playing volleyball. It's a nice little pin here. And another buffalo. And there's a starfish here, starfish necklace. And then it says F on the back. Oh, well, there's the matching 1928. Of this one that it, it de they both definitely need a bath badly um, there are these that say da Vinci and oddly enough they're not missing anything those are nice <laughs> is there a shooting star brooch? Reminds me of the reading rainbow. It's a heart. Getting down to the bottom here. Oh, that's what that's what that one looked like. I I kind of hate these. This is this one, and I do have the globe. I was wondering what that was, so that needs to get fixed. I hate those big '80s earrings. I know some people like them, but I just I just don't. And I have a lot of them. So I have the other one of, of this earring. I always find the sets of everything except for the ones that I really, really want. There's another apple. That one. Another earring. Hand smell. I smell terrible. It's a little teeny tiny ring here. A single earring. Another like little adjustable ring. Pearl earring. Oh, here's the other little hoop. And that's why the one was in there. This one doesn't have any posts. So I'll end up crafting with both of them. Another one. Another earring. Looks like we're not going to find some of them. Here's the other one. Which is cute. Hmm. 
Now I have reading rainbow stuck in my head. There are praying hands. Uh, I have a bag for that stuff. An interesting old button. Ugly 80s earring. A little earring. And there, there is a jewel in here. Uh, hopefully. That's for one of those ones that lost theirs. Um, there's this one here. Let me just check. It looked like there was some writing inside, but I can't. I can't see. No, I can't make it out. There are that necklace and these two dangling earrings. And just a plain silver bangle. Uh, shamrock. Gearing. A dingle. And I think we are at the bottom of what we are going to get in here. Let's see. Yeah. I think we are about So, like I said, hopefully some of this stuff is in some of the, uh, one of the, the other bag that I got. If not, hopefully I can manage to get back in time to buy one of the other bags where hopefully I'll be able to see some of this in there. Um... If not, I still think I, I did pretty well in this bag, especially with all the cat stuff. Um, so, and also, I just found the screw back with a fish. Fishy. I really hope some of this stuff is in the other one, but I, I don't have high hopes. But, um, you can wish me luck. Again, I am not disappointed. I really do think I got some great stuff. Um, I love the bangles and some of even the earrings are nice. Um, I believe these are, these are earrings that would have gone with that, um, so, I'm kind of sad that I didn't see both of them, but those are really neat too, and a lot of the things that are broken, I think I, I have a good chance of fixing them, 
So I, like I said, I am not disappointed. And I think this one was worth the money because I have certainly had ones that were not. And you just always, you know, take a chance. And you win some. And you lose some. And I think, I think I'm a winner today. So thanks for watching, everybody. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please comment below. Uh, and I will see you on my next video, which will hopefully be a continuation of um, what I got. And please like and subscribe if you like my videos. And thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderfully perfect day. Thank you.